I was a soldier once. Filled with proud notions of who I was and what I stood for. Convinced what I did was for the good of the men. They made it easier to live. As the assignments pass, they become more machine than man. It's getting harder to hold on to the man inside. Hell of a way to spend your life. That's all I know. I was trained. I guess I should look at the bright side. I'm still alive. At least for now. Hello, Jack. Oh, hello, Saber. Looks like the skin graft is healing up nicely. Cut the small talk. We've got some disturbing news about the Microcom deal. We've uncovered some evidence that Jacques Arnault, the head of Microcom, has connections to an American offshoot of the Red Storm. We believe he's sympathizing with them and is planning to use the new government contract to fuel a hostile stateside rebellion. Some important people in the government are very nervous about this situation gathering any steam. They want Arnault out and a friend of the government in. They want this situation taken care of publicly to discourage any other fringe groups who might be getting bold. Arnaud's having a press conference tomorrow at 1700 hours at Microcom to officially announce the contract. We want you to take him out at the podium. An M-Tech rifle will be waiting for you. Jet Jones is going to be your support in the evac. She's got your escape route mapped out as per my instructions. Hit and run. We'll take care of the press conference after you're out. Blame it on the Red Storm Rebels. It'll throw the whole rebel effort into chaos and swing public opinion back in favor of the government. Quick and clean, Jack. No screw-ups. Switch it on. My sensor system has been upgraded since our last gig. I can monitor you and other life forces just like before, but this baby can patch me directly into the building's main computer, phone, and security system. You sound like a used car salesman. Oh, that's the old Jack Butcher we all know and love. The life of the party. Hey, Jack, do you remember that firefight in Somalia when the fat... This should be a piece of cake. Take the service stairs to the third floor. I'll be in constant communication on this channel to let you know what's happening. I want to see your cute little butt on the roof directly after the shot. 
Hey, don't leave me standing up here with tokens in my hand waiting for the bus. <laughs> After today, things won't be the same around here.
sidewalk to the service elevator. the element of surprise. It's best to go straight to the production line in the basement, Jack. All hell's broken loose at the press conference and the building is crawling with unfriendlies. It's weird that security was able to cover the escape route so quickly. We've got to get you to the first floor. At the far end of the basement is a stairwell just past the production line. Take that up to the first floor and we can get you out from there. I'll scan to see if I can find out what their plans are. I promise you, whoever did this terrible thing will not go unpunished. Seal all the exits to the building and double the number of security drones on patrol. I want the assassin killed on sight and his body brought to me. Before you reach the laser sealer, there's an 
opening at the end of the rollers on the right. Oh, Jack, another second and that machine would have welded your fly shut. Modern technology. You gotta love it. Just get me the hell out of here. The exits to the building have been sealed and the grounds look like Times Square on New Year's Day. I guess landing on the ground and picking me up is out of the question. You got it, Sparky. Proceed to the first floor where you can catch the elevator to the roof and I can pick you up as planned. I'll keep monitoring frequencies for information. He's on the run. He managed to escape the guard who captured him. I know he can cause problems for us if he gets out of the building, but that won't happen. It's under control. I've got another plan, just in case. You'll be arriving in one hour? I'll brief you when you get here. I'll alert the guards at the gate. The situation will be resolved by your arrival. Get him out all right, Saber. I'll keep you informed. Jones out. Well, Jack, you stepped in at this time. That last little bit of pyrotechnics killed the lights in the whole building. On top of everything else, Saber says quit trying to milk him for over overtime. I'm glad you guys are having fun while I'm down here sweating my balls off. The backup generators have kicked in. The lights are back on. That's the first break we've had. The main elevator shaft is in the lobby entrance at the top of the stairs. 
It's surprisingly quiet, Jack. Be careful. General Sir, the patrol droids put Butcher on the first floor. It looks like he's heading for the elevators in the lobby. Yes, I know, you idiot! Release a stalker droid on the first floor! I want him dead! No excuses! Give me a press conference on the front steps in 30 minutes.
gotta try not to take any more damage. I need time to repair your armor. Nice job, Jack. It's good to see your red blip on the screen. I know you've been busier than a one-armed paper hanger, so I waited till you had a breather to tell you this. You've been set up. I don't know how he knows, but that son of a bitch Winter identified you by name as the killer. I intercepted this from a press conference a little while ago. Quiet, please. Quiet. We have discovered the identity of Dr. Jacques Arnaud's killer. The assassin has been identified as Jack Butcher, a former U.S. Marine Corps Special Forces assassin who was dishonorably discharged from the service during the Slovakian War for gross insubordination and endangerment. That's why it seems like they've been one step ahead of us all the way. Yeah, you were never supposed to make it out of there alive. We gotta pick you up now. The hover pad is clear, but they must know where you're heading. Expect company on the roof. I'll hover away from the building at a safe distance until you get close. I don't want them to cut you off. Get going, Jack! I'm running low on fuel, so the quicker you can get here, the better off we're gonna be. You're all in the catwalk to the most thing.
Nice of you to drop in. Seems you've been a great help and a great hindrance to our efforts. I should have figured you'd suck onto some open sore like Arno. You ruined my plans and my career a long time ago, but I can't let you ruin them this time. You'd never be a match for me one-on-one. -on -one. Your game is over. How can you play the game, Jack, if you don't know the rules and who your opponents are? Well, Saber, suppose you enlighten me. The General and I have been working on this plan since the start of the Slovakian War. Your sudden case of morality during the war caused us to rethink our plan for world domination. Taking over the Red Storm was no longer an option. After you publicly humiliated me with your petty concerns for the future of some little children, I found that I had to align myself self with a vehicle that would put me in a position to accomplish my goal. That vehicle was Microcom. Arno was so gullible and naive that I had no problem getting him to trust me. I still had enough clout with the government to get Colonel Sobretti, who has served me loyally throughout his career, appointed head of the era. You were supposed to be killed after the assassination, but you proved to be more resourceful than anticipated. I find it fitting that you will be the final test of the killing power of the latest generation of artificial soldier, the Genocide 350, Colonel.
on board, Jet. Get the hell out of here. We're hooked like a fish. Give it all we have and pull that son of a bitch off the building. You heard him, Smitty. Gun it. Heavy. Smitty can't control it. Break that thing off on the building, or we won't have anything left to fly. That thing landed right in Sabres and Winner's lap and took out the whole top floor. Oh, man. Wait until we get the cleaning bill for that one. Time to go home. Oh yeah. Let's go home.